Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And I want to thank you guys so very much for all of your kind words and your great welcome back to this series. But, guys, we are going to have to get started. We're back in Texas, and it seems like most of the people that responded to me kind of implicated that they want me to start from the beginning and work my way back through the lakes and see what things have changed so that is what I'm going to do now if there are anything else in particular you want me to do I will I will take on it might do like a special episode but for now I think we're just gonna do it this way plus I feel I feel a little reminiscent of going back and doing these old lakes again all right, now I will tell you this, the timing right now is pretty darn poor. We're right here, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to advance time a little bit. It looks like the peak time is probably right at 1 p.m. You can fast forward time, but it does cost you, not money. You have a cool down period and basically you can't do it again for well 48 minutes basically so we're going to forward time all right now we're in the peak period now where i'm going to take you guys is down here one thing i really like that they implicated into this game is the ability to see a gps map and an underwater map so you can take a look and see where the dark, deep holes are located. Like there's one right here, for instance. One right here. There's a shallow area, which is interesting. And there's a very deep hole right over here. Now these, this area right here, I'm going to show you. This is a one of particular interest. Seems like there are a ton of the uh, spotted bass over here. Now you can't get to it very easily. You can't get like right in front of the hole because it's the map's designed to where you can't. So you kind of have to get over here as far as you can, which I think this is about it. Yeah, you have to back up a little bit because you're not going to be able to get your rod to cast over there. Now I'm going to use one of my nano baits to start off with. And we're going to see if we can get these guys interested in biting. But that hole should be right about over there. And I think it is because look how long it's taken to get to the bottom. God only knows what's in there. But anyway, let's start moving the rod lure in. Didn't take long. Peak period, guys. Peak period. Yeah, he's... He likes that lure, that's for sure. Come on, fish. There we go. Your basic spotted bass. That's not a bad one for this, guys. He's, they don't have trophies. I wish they did. I really, really wish they did, but we are going to get a picture with him because that's something else I wanted to do. Get a nice picture with the fish. You ought to have him with a big, you know, big grin or something. <laughs> anyway, let's hide all that and we'll take a picture. There you go. That was one thing I always wish they would do, had done before was allow you to be able to take pictures. Well, now you can, so... We'll keep him. Same same location. Looks like you got a lot of people over here, which is fine. We're gonna let that sink again. Try to see if I can't get three dots here with the lift and drop. A 
Ah, I think something bit at it, but we didn't quite get it. Let's do this. There we go. We got him. Yeah, I think he bit at it once and then kind of hung around to see if he couldn't get it again. There we go. Now he's a little bit bigger than the last one. All right, we'll keep him. Throw that out there. As you can see, fishing's very good, and you're going to bring in a lot of cash very quickly, especially if you're just starting out. Now, I'm probably getting the question, all right, Hawkeye, I'm brand new at this. I can't get the nano spoons yet. Yeah, that's a pretty good question. <laughs> well, I think what we'll do here is after this particular cast, I will go and use a lure that I use all the time when I first started out. Okay, come on here. Yeah, they are definitely biting. There we go. And we'll keep him. So that's like $100 cash every time. Alright, I do have, let's see, other rods set up for different things. Now this is a good lure here. This is a half inch red and white spoon. Uh, they really like to go for that as well. Um, haven't had a whole lot of luck with crankbait in this lake in the past. I'm, I might try it, but I'm not going to do it here because I don't want to waste you guys' time. But I never was able to catch much of anything out of this lake with the crankbaits. But let's see about putting a little bit lighter lure here. I think a half ounce is a little bit big for you guys if you're just starting out. Let's see. One six ounce, now that, oh, it's too light. All right, then we'll go with, still too light. All right, well, then we'll put it on this one. There we go. Yeah, this has always been a good load. This one and the gold one, but the gold one seems to work better when it's raining or over, you know, cloudy or something. The silver one works better in the sunny weather. Let's see if that still holds true. Yeah, that's definitely the hole. As you can see how long it takes to get to the bottom. But yeah, this is my favorite new spot. See, I never fished over here before because I never knew there was a hole. If I had known, I've been in, I've been all over this. Yeah, I always like the lift and drop move, but you got to really move it fast to get the amount of dots that you need. And sometimes if the water's too shallow, it still won't. It's a lot trickier than it used to be. There we go. As you can see, they go for that very well too. There we go. There's our little guy. And he's a bigger one. 141. Not bad at all. Oh, the mob. They are over there on that side. You'll find the grass pickerel. I don't think I've ever caught a grass pickerel over here. All right. I think we're going to go over to this side. I'll go there by map. It'll be a little quicker. Eh, maybe not. We'll just walk over there. No biggie. Walk around the lake. Yeah, the grass pickerel, you're going to find them right over here. That's where I've been finding them most of the time. Sometimes they'll be over there on that opposite side, too. I've not caught any over there. 
and I've fished here a lot so usually if I'm gonna catch a grass pickerel I will try over here over here or over here and it seems like a lot of the times I will get them but I also will get a lot of the spotted bass too so And the pickerel do go for the lift and drop. I think we got us a spotted bass though, but no. Nope. There it is. Grass pickerel. Yeah, they don't get as much as the spotted bass cash wise, but they're a lot of fun. Actually I think I might tell this guy. are in the lilies on the off the bridge but anyway as you can see that's a good spot for the grass pickerel usually catch them and I'll catch them just like I did off that spoon, mantle spoons, spinners just about any of the smaller lures they will go for it but again you always gonna get the chance of getting a spotted bass too or maybe an overzealous bluegill <laughs> bite he just didn't get it all the way oh, I thought he had one there for a minute it was just one jumping Well, that's a rambunctious little guy, isn't it? <laughs> Let's try back over here again. There we go. Bet you we got us another pickerel. We do. We'll keep him. Let her sink. That stinks. Sorry, dude. Well, you little pain in the butt. Did you see that? Yeah, I think we're going to put a nano spoon on here because I just like them. This one sixteenth is an awesome lure. Spotted bass love it. The pickerel love it. sink there we go yeah they are definitely going for that but I don't think that's pickerel it's yeah I figured it was something else spotted bass just like I said you will probably get them occasionally here but they will still bite
And you can build the cash up seriously fast in just an hour. I think I might try over here once and I think we'll call this an episode. And I think the next episode we're going to do a little bit of catfishing. Catfishing here is a lot of fun. You can just get pretty much young catfish here. But there's still catfish. I am a catfish fanatic. In real life that's my favorite fish to fish for. Everybody goes for the bass. Me. I go for the catfish. Plus I like to eat them. <laughs> They're yum yummy. Yeah, usually right next to these lilies over here there's some spotted bass, but they're not seeming to go for it just yet. That hole is just the prime location. It really is. There we go. But there we go. I got one. Not a humongous one. He didn't even bring a hundred cash, but he still brought ninety, which is more than the pickerel did. But I'm gonna come over here too because there is another good location for the spotted bass. And it's sometimes you'll get the pickerel here too. I, I was talking about it just a little bit ago, but let me show you what I'm talking about here. It's right over here. You can jump over here through the map as well, but the area is like right amongst those lilies right there. Head to the other side. You might get a snag, but it's worth the risk because they are there. The biggest one I've ever caught out of this lake I caught from here, so... Seems like they're smaller over there, but you don't catch them as often. There we go. I'm on, big guy. Well, he is... And another spot of bass. That's fine. Little guy. And another good spot's right over here too. See that log is? The gas grass pickerel plus it's near the hole, so But the hole is much easier to reach from the other side. That's just a fact. Okay, it looks like we might have something a little different this time. Judging from... Bluegill? Yep. <laughs> I knew it. It wasn't nearly as heavy. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And I think next time, like I said, we're going to do the catfish. Maybe after that, we'll do the smallmouth buffalo. Anyway, guys, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.